Hey, this is Rick with Epic Lighting. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to connect and use the Bluetooth controllers for our RGB products. Alright, we've already supplied power to the halos and the controller. They should power up just as you see here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect to the controller. So what you do is after downloading the app, you click the app, it'll open up and you'll see add in a device. It's going to ask you to name your device. You may choose to name that if you would please. And you confirm that. So to control your halos, you just simply click there. And it's going to go through a small tutorial on how to take care of that. So if you want to change the colors, you just simply slide the sliders to each different color that you choose. You may fine tune them. To do a DYI, choose the color you like, push and hold. It's going to take you back. Confirm it. Now you may jump to this color at any given point. You may also change the brightness. We also have preset functions. We have a seven color fade, red gradual change, green, blue, and it goes on to several different things and the strobes and you can change the speeds of them. We also have what they call a disco mode. And this is where you can listen to music outside as you see I'm talking here and it's taking what I'm saying into the halos. Now we can move on to custom colors. These are custom colors here. You can choose the color patterns that you would like to choose. We can do jumps, change the speed of these as well. New strobes, gradual. We also have music. To do the music, you select music, go into your songs, select a song, and your halos will go to the song. We also have a camera mode. It's going to be quite hard to show here, but you can change the colors of your halos by using your camera, by placing your camera obviously close to a color of your choice and it will change to that color. So that is a basic rundown of how the RGB controllers work and you can simply turn them on and off by the app. They also have timer functions and uh, timer settings as well. You can set it to come on at a certain time, turn off at a certain time, or if you only want it to run for an extended period of time, you may set those as well. So there we have the RGB controllers that are Bluetooth. And this is done on the Apple device, but may be done on Android as well.